Hi, my name is Abby Vance. I'm 15 years old and year 11 and a student at Wanham School in Kulkan. Today I'd like to talk to you about palm oil, the problems and the solutions. Palm oil is an edible plant oil which was originally grown in Western Africa. Today, 5,000 years later, it's found in over half of the world's packaged products. Now this includes cakes and biscuits to soaps and shampoos. In 2006, 52% of the oil and fat exports in the world were palm oil, and 85% of that was grown and produced in Malaysia and Indonesia. Palm oil is often grown unsustainably, now and in areas that were once covered in rainforest. And this forest is cleared using slash and burn techniques and just simply being burnt, which produces vast quantities of CO2, which is released into our atmosphere and inevitably contributes to global warming and climate change. But unsustainable methods often treat local people, small-scale farmers and just local communities really unfairly and they're taken advantage of by these big companies. Indigenous people are losing their home, they're losing their rainforest, their traditional hunting grounds and of course the animals. You've got tigers, you've got Asian elephants, you've got Asian rhinos and of course most famously the orangutans which have seen a 50% drop in their population since the forests have started to be cleared. So what's to be done? Well, there's no doubt that palm oil is a good oil because it's the highest producing yield oil in the world. So it's good. <laughs> and you know, but the problem lies within the farming methods which need to be sorted out, which need to be sustainable. And sustainable methods then lead to workers being fairly treated, small scale farmers and everybody within the local community being treated fairly and not taken advantage of. So they're in safe environments, they're not they're getting fair pay and um, plantations can also be grown on lands that's already been cleared so you're reusing the land rather than clearing land which then in turn benefits the indigenous peoples and the creatures and plants and everything that lives out there. So sustainable methods really care for the natural environment and the natural resources so they're all around they're best for the wildlife for the people and for the world because they're not contributing to global warming as much. Now what is important is that we label palm oil, we label it on all the products that it is in, whether it's sustainable or unsustainable, it needs to be labelled because people can then know what they're eating and then they can know, then we can move towards sustainability as people realise what's happening and they will encourage it and then sustainability will be produced and that's what is important so please, I think it's important to make labelling palm oil compulsory because then it can benefit everybody out there and everybody here because everybody all around will benefit <laughs> so thank you for your time this is my little talk on palm oil and please consider what I have said <laughs>